Yeah, late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing you that street geek and nerd soul. And what is up, my people? It's part two of Darth Vader. Yeah, man, I am so happy to see y'all. And this is day two of vlog every day in August. But in this case, we're doing it with a little twist of some Star Wars. So today, we're going to talk about one of my most crushing moments involving my man Darth Vader. Um, this crushing moment actually comes not from the films but from the little series known as Clone Wars. Now, in Clone Wars, um, there's this moment, I believe at the end of season five, where your girl um, Ahsoka Tano ends up in a situation where she is framed for a murder that she did not commit. You know what I'm saying? And it's not her fault. She didn't do anything. And um, she ends up being chased and, and um, you know, like hunted down by, you know, the clone troopers because, you know, she's assumed to be a fugitive. Um, she's framed for this murder. You know, her and Anakin go at it uh, as far as like their ideology, as far as him trying to just get her to come in, um, as far as her being like, you need to trust me and have my back. And it's just really, really crushing to see him and uh, seemingly, as far as we know, his only... Uh, I guess Jedi side Padawan um, you know his you know that was kind of like his you know his partner his road dog um, probably second only to uh, Ben Kenobi of course and it was just tough seeing that that sequence of episodes I believe it was like I want to say it was like a four episode um, arc, but seeing those episodes play out and seeing those two people um, really kind of come at odds and come to the end of their, you know, friendship, uh, partnership, um, you know, their their master and apprentice, you know, relationship. It was just crushing uh, and most crushing when, you know, they go through the whole, you know, um, process of finally finding out who actually did the killing who actually framed her all of that stuff and when you know yoda and all of them come back to her like you know like hey um you know come back to the order and you know you can just tell it's not in her anymore she's just not into it and um you know it, it really it's really crushing to see that happen to you know anakin especially you know with someone who he's vibed with so much someone where you know who he um you know he was just really really a large part of her life and her a part of his um and it's just one of those things that always was like man you know it kind of like let the wind out of my sails and it always like you know it just touched me as far as his character growth so of course you guys jump down in the comments below let me know what you guys think about my pick for today as far as Vader is concerned and of course do not forget VA what up LA what up RVA you got my heart and of course like comment and subscribe it's coming peace <laughs>